This video is an introduction to loading and viewing tabular data in R using R Studio. I'm working in R Studio Cloud and I have some data files already loaded here. Uh, if you're working on R Studio on your own machine, uh, follow the instructions in the lesson to, to make those files available to you. For the next few lessons, we're going to be working with a data set uh, from a long-term study called the Portal Project. Uh, this is a long-term experimental study of small mammals in Arizona. And so the data set will have information on individual mammals that are captured uh, inside a small metal box called a Sherman trap, as well as the size of those mammals, the species that they belong to, the plot that they're captured on, and some information about the experimental treatment on those plots. And so we can see we've got three data files relevant to this study, a plots table, a species table, and a surveys table. And we're going to start by loading those into R. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, a new R script, so that we have somewhere to type our code that we'll be able to keep for later. And we load new data in using a function called read.csv. And so I'll start by defining a variable that will be the name of this table that I'm going to import. Let's say surveys. If we're going to import the surveys table, which has the information on the individual uh, captured small mammals, we're then going to assign that uh, using either the arrow or the equals sign. And then into there, we're going to put read.csv. So the idea is read the CSV file. It's a function, so we then have parentheses. And then in quotation marks, the name of the file. And so in this case, it would be surveys. If I start typing it and then hit the tab key, it will actually auto-complete for me. If I then run this line of code, we'll see uh, that a surveys variable shows up over here in the global environment, and it's identified as data. So our studio is telling us that this is a special kind of variable. It's a data frame. If we click on that, our studio will bring it up as a table for us to look at what the data looks like. There's a unique ID for each row. There's the month, day, and year that the small mammal was captured, the plot number that it was captured on, a two-character species ID, so the first letter represents the genus and the second letter represents the species, a sex, a hind foot length, and a weight. And they didn't collect weight right at the beginning of the data set. Uh, but if we scroll down, we can see uh, that we have weights. We can go ahead and load in the other tables to look at them as well. And so if we want to load in the plots table, we would give it a descriptive name like plots, an assignment operator, and then read.csv, plots.csv. And if we run this and then click on it, we'll see that we have a link between the plot ID and the type of experiment that's going on, uh, whether it keeps out uh, large kangaroo rats, lets all of the rodents in, uh, keeps out all kangaroo rats, uh, or keeps out all rodents entirely. And then the final table we'll be working with is the species table, so again, define the variable species and assign the table to it using read.csv and the name of the file. And press run. And if we look at the species table, we can see that we've got that species code, that species ID that's in the main table, the genus and species uh, of the thing that was caught in the small metal box, uh, and then the general taxonomic group, which is useful because while we're trying to capture rodents, it's surprising what you catch if you put a small metal box out uh, in the desert, including birds and reptiles uh, and all sorts of things. 
So that's the data set that we'll be working with. It's got nice, uh, tidy tabular structure, so we'll be good to go for analyzing it. And we load these types of tabular data into R using the read.csv function and assigning the output of that function to a descriptive variable name.